Hello everyone and welcome to Impossible Creatures Replay Commentary. It is B Champ and with me I have uh, someone amazing. Thank you for the intro. I, I'm Devo. Happy to be here. Yeah, you've been the star of all of the recent casts, I believe, and uh, or one of the stars. We've had a few a few people have been casting games, and I have not been, but I'm pretty excited about this one. This is a new map uh, called Sandbar, and this yeah. is going to be Yagami versus Mutz. Uh, the map was made by uh, Will um puglin and uh, with a little bit of help from kiki i believe yes kiki did the the painting and this is a map designed to illustrate one of the most exciting meta evolutions we've had recently and that is the pure swimmer meta uh, all of the expansions on this map require swimming so uh this this map is designed to uh really bring out some units that we pretty much never see apart from midway at all so yeah, really excited to see how this goes. It's gonna be super neat, I think, because, um, like, like Davo said, you can actually your your henchman will have to swim to the coal, mine it, and then swim back, meaning that pure swimmer melee can actually attack these henchmen. So, yeah, no and that's is... that's even more extreme than what you see on Midway, where uh, recently uh, Nisprox and Mutt, in particular, have basically pushed Midway to the point where. Uh, bringing amphibious units is pretty much useless. <laughs> so, uh, on a map like this, where uh, pure swimmer is even more effective, uh, we're gonna, we're going to see some really, uh, really fantastic units. Uh, uh, this, wow. uh, this map is so beautiful. Also, yeah, this is fantastic. I mean, especially considering <laughs> how quickly uh, the concept came up, and then. I mean, I don't know. This was this oh my felt gosh. like it was made in a couple of hours. Look at so. them. They start to swim. They do one stroke of swimming with their uh, axe or their buckets. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. With the and then they realize, oh, that's too heavy. I gotta put those away. Yeah. Oh, and it's so funny. They get their um, their buoys at at deeper water, and so you can see right there, right before he gets to mine. Oh yeah, a yeah, right before they get to the right <laughs> to the mining. Yeah. I don't know if it's deeper water. Or maybe it's Ready something because he doesn't have buoys. Maybe it's it's. I think it's a. I think it's a zoom uh, thing. Oh, yeah. ha ha! Yeah, that is Will, so was, cute. Will was telling me about that. Um, wow, so <laughs> Yagami indexing heavily into lightning rods. Yeah, uh, but Mutt getting a geyser in mid. Yeah, I think that mid geyser is going to be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, for him, I do. I do like this little geyser placement here in the water too. This is really cute. Yeah, it's really, it's really quite fun. I mean, everything, every single thing oh. except maybe the lab is uh, vulnerable to pure swimmers. Um, and I mean, even the lab, pure swimmer range should be able to to do some damage at later levels. So yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, we have we have Mutt now at level two, so that's going to be big if he capitalizes on this early advantage. Yeah. He's um, definitely pumping out the chambers, so. Yeah, you yeah. You can expect some aggression. Yeah, uh, it did. one of the one of the classic uh, level two units uh, that we would see. Um, well, that's <laughs> that's a scout. That's Rubber a fantastic ducky. scout. <laughs> Yagami actually came up with this unit. Um, oh my god! And then I, I when I saw it, I I, oh. I called it Rubber Ducky when I copied it. So that's that's where that comes from. Um, but yeah, one of the, the sort of most powerful level two units uh, on water maps is uh, Tuna electric eels which have 47 water speed <laughs> and oh, i think eight damage with uh oh my gosh these lemming piranhas so these are actually they have ground, ground oh, wow speed. uh so, but yeah, here so the yep and they are absolutely unbelievably good <laughs> so um yeah i'm gonna be using one to scout because it is i think probably the fastest unit in the game oh it found his camouflage unit yeah <laughs> running that's into crazy. it crazy oh that's pretty funny know. That is pretty funny. Just accidentally bumping into it, it'll, it'll see it, so that's pretty funny. Yeah, so so what does have good information right now, um, and what I was going into with the Tuna Eels is they, they actually do quite a lot of damage, more than you would expect for level 2, so uh, Water Geysers are actually pretty vulnerable. It helps to get them early, um, but they, they are going to fall pretty quickly if, uh, if you're able to mass against them, so we should start seeing some pretty intense action. Uh, in not too long. Yeah, tuna eels versus tuna eels is pretty. Uh... It's very spicy. Yeah. It's... <laughs> I 
I mean, the, it's just going to be a lot of tuna eels. <laughs> it is going to be a lot of tuna eels. It's, uh, I mean, it's going to, I mean, it's going to really tax the micro of these places. Cause I mean, this is, these are faster units than you would even see on land. So, um, you can really mid max the, uh, the movement. Yeah. And, uh, another rubber ducky was found. Oh, and this is a very good play by Mutz coming in from yeah. two sides to help get a really nice attack arc with these ranged. Yeah, but he he is he is arcing, but Yagami is playing around with his structures quite quite well. So mm -hmm. um, the uh, the blue tunias <laughs> from Mutt are defaulting to aggroing the chambers and the geyser instead of Yagami's units, which uh, Yagami is using to his advantage. Yeah. Oh, and here Yagami catches Mutt in a bad arc and is able to get a little bit of ground as Mutt tries yeah. to go a little bit for this generator. Wow, this is yeah, very that is micro a fully intensive. upgraded generator, I think. Maybe missing one upgrade, but it is. Uh, no, it looks fully, yeah, it's fully upgraded. upgraded. I think. Yeah, yeah. So it's. Uh, you saw how quickly it lost half its health. So uh, what I would say about them being vulnerable is uh, definitely, definitely true. Yeah, and we're gonna see level threes come out here, and uh, Mutt just hit living, uh, hitting level, level three as three. well himself. Yeah, that's gonna be so good, uh, because maybe we'll see something that's not tuna eels. <laughs> maybe, yeah, I, we'll I, see I, these they're... piranha cobras. What are these? Oh wow, frenzy and pack hunter. What? I mean, look they're... at them. Yeah, they are actually they sitting look... completely underwater. What is this? <laughs> yeah, their head. I think their heads above water. Maybe no, I don't think no. so. No, think yeah, no, you're right. Actually, yeah, they are underwater. below water. <laughs> so, they just they just pop their head out of the water to to spit poison at you. Yeah, and the the generator will go down. So, uh, Mutt using his his uh, two needles to dash in for a quick raid. Yeah, gonna be immediately rebuilding it. Oh, keeping the income up is going to be a huge part of the uh, of this match. Yeah, this is a and, nice uh, little raid going on for Mutt over here, which is going to be yeah. big for your. Hurting Yagami's economy, even though Yagami does have a lot of eels going towards mid. Yeah, that generator is is basically gone already. Yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely history. And if Mutt goes and attacks this expansion up here, there's not much you can do in terms of sound beam towers to protect this or fence off. Yeah, that's definitely one of the one of the key things about this map. It's all about the units. And uh, yeah, what here we are see, uh... these <laughs> narwhal caterpillars? Oh my gosh. <laughs> What? Oh my god. That costs ninety and twenty six. They have charge attack. Oh my oh gosh, my that is crazy. Three hundred and nine health. They're just getting that eaten is... up though. What's the point of these? They, they yeah. don't do anything. Neat into glass. Uh, into they do two yeah, glass cannons. Is, is uh, it's fast meat, but yeah, I'm not sure that that they're uh, the best uh, units. So Yagami yeah. has found room for his sound beams against these uh. <laughs> These units from Mutt in, in his expansion, so those those are not doing too much at the moment. Oh, and then this is so he oh, caught a Mutt glimpse is of the uh... going way further than he needs to. He should be able to put a yeah up here. Yeah. Oh no, Mutt. Yeah, I think that's what we saw with the with the where his units were. He expected Yagami to have put his uh, workshop on the mainland, and then uh, Yagami oh, actually made use of the island. Yeah, I guess so. Mutt Mutt didn't realize uh, that you can use these back islands here. Okay. Yeah. I think that's what happened. So yeah, this is the continuation of the Tunio meta is the Narwheel <laughs> level three. Oh my gosh. Uh, <laughs> yep, it is a uh, pretty insane. Uh, Thirteen damage with camouflage. So no pack hunter this time though. So Let's see uh, see how this goes. I mean that <laughs> that Narwheel Narwhal skipper took quite a long time to die, even under a lot of focus fire. But yeah. I mean, you're not really doing much with that health. I mean, he's, he's, out yeah, he's using spam, but I don't know if spam's going to really work at all. I think Mutt has a big unit advantage here. Uh, if you would just yeah, press I mean, it. It, it. I mean, it, it, it is true that he is delaying pretty effectively, so I don't know whether... And Yagami's units are very cheap, so he might be able to go level 4. And he did take the mid-geyser as well, uh, which is important. You know, his 2 raid earlier did let him take that geyser, so Mutt is fade... Fighting at a geyser disadvantage here. Yeah, he is. Uh, or I guess he just took it. He just, he just, you know, he just took that. But Ready, boys. he does have this uh, expansion he could take. There's, you know, there's still room to expand, and Yagami hasn't been threatened to that much. All he's really taken is some, some small, yeah, uh, <laughs> some cheap units have died. Mutt's not uh, building henchmen, not doing much economically. I guess neither is Yagami, yeah. but um, I, I feel like just Yagami still has just a better advantage, especially now that he has his workshop up. 
Uh, I think yeah, I think I think Yagami is is in a pretty good position. Um, and, you know, you can kind of see the the price of the micro on on these uh, pure swimmer yeah. maps where, you know, everything move, all the fights move so fast. You really need to be aware of what you're doing, and uh, that's that's why it, it makes it harder to to keep up pinch production and expanding yeah. and, and all of that. It's quite I taxing. Mutt has had this workshop up here for for longer than Yagami, but I mean, this is like not even a real workshop because. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, actually, if you do the math, the uh, it actually pretty good you know, uh, constant mining out of these uh, piles. Yeah, actually. as long as as I'm long as uh, as long as the henchmen start waiting, it doesn't really matter uh, yeah. whether the workshop is right next to it or, or not. Yeah, it's yeah. One of those those little inefficiencies. Uh, and Mutt is here in mid. Yeah, so he he wants to take out this geyser. I think he's uh maybe I don't know. He's 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 a. Uh, Moving, he's rallying them away because Yagami does have units in mid. So yeah. Oh, oh wow. These <laughs> hammer beetles are going. Hammer, to... Hammerhead bombardiers. Those have uh, I think fifty four range. I think it yeah, is. Yeah, fifty four range distance. That's pretty incredible. That's going to absolutely hammer. Probably oh, you can hit yeah. the hench line here. Um, yeah, as well I as all think this. you need vision, but uh, I mean, yeah, these I mean, guys he's definitely have gonna be able to... vision, which is pretty good. And, oh, that is just going to tank these towers. Oh yeah, and those. The, losing those lightning rods as well. <laughs> this is oh, enough. I love this raid. What what are those? Are those uh, lemming piranhas? Oh man, Mutt's swords are just two. running around the outside. They can't do anything. Yeah, you really can't. <laughs> oh, Mutt needs but, grounded. You know, units. Mutt can just uh, <laughs> just avoid his lab for now and keep up with his uh, his pressure with his uh, bombardiers oh, here. This is gonna be really Maybe. big in the meantime, though. Of taking out this workshop. Yeah. yeah, I'm surprised that Mutt hasn't taken out the rods actually. That's Yagami hitting level four, um, and Mutt just starting level four. So this is going to be a long time. Finally, uh, being able to Yagami defend. Is... Yeah, and Yagami has a huge opportunity here because uh, level four power spike, uh, especially with pure swimmer melee, is extremely powerful. Um, so I don't. We'll see. Yeah. So he's he's building um, oh, poison. What? Poison octopus. Yeah. <laughs> uh, blue ringed octopus snarwalls. There we go. And good grief. You see how they're making just mincemeat of those. Yeah, uh, those tunas. Tuna Oof. octopuses. I mean. It, it is sad to see um, before Yagami hit level four, Mutt could have been raiding on this uh, workshop here. But, ooh, we have yeah, a lot of action down absolutely. south. These are coming out really, really fast. Yeah, I mean, um, they, are, they are not very expensive for how powerful they are. I mean, with your upgraded speed, you see it's 36 speed. Damage. They're camouflaged. Wow, 23, <laughs> 23 damage with poison attack. I mean, that is they're just gonna... so incredibly cheap. Yeah. And, and the, the camo's going to help yeah, them it's... melt really everything. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, the the original unit of this was uh, was really pioneered by Nisparox. Um, and it was the, the giant Pacific Optifus version. Um, this is going to be really good for the... month, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Mutt is keeping up with the with the pressure of his artillery. I mean, Yagami, here comes Yagami's forces though, and those are <laughs> those artillery are not long for this world. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this, we this is going to be a slaughter. I mean, you would only need like two of those. <laughs> 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 Yagami actually has numbers advantage. So uh... finally, Mutt taking this workshop. This is actually looking really good when you look at the mini map for Mutt uh, yeah, because. Mutt is... He was really able to slow down Yagami's economy with this uh, yeah. sandbar over here at the left. Yeah, Yagami definitely has the unit advantage, but uh, Mutt economically he has he has more expansions and uh, oh. so it's interesting because Yagami has oh what are those? These are immune. That's what they are. <laughs> oh yeah, mantis that's shrimp fantastic. with keen sense. Oh, that's gosh. really that's a really good unit. That choose. is that is the perfect counter. Uh, for what we have going on over here, so I think yeah. Mutt... I mean, especially with Regen as well. I mean, they have they have everything. <laughs> oh wait, no, those uh, no, are th those are Yeah, I was gonna yeah, say yeah, they these, wouldn't have Regen. These don't have Regen, no. Yeah, but... you're trading immunity for Regen. I mean, Regen is very powerful um, on spam your units because it's a lot harder to focus down a single unit. Um, yeah, which is part of what uh, makes. Oh, and these, this is uh, a perfect example of how the so so hard camo. Uh, pure swimmer melee with charge attack. I mean, yeah. the camouflage will just get into close range, and the ranged units don't have any opportunity to um, hit you. Yeah, and I mean, especially the the narwhals, they're they're very good, but they're they're also quite glass cannons. So, um, and I mean, Mutt has not upgraded their the narwhal speed. So if uh, 
They have to run. They're not getting away, especially from the charge attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, that here comes, here comes the in. cavalry for Yagami. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the minimap. It's this long conga line of, of purple. And they keep trading and, geysers. I love that they keep trading geysers like this. Um, I also pressure, love I mean, that Mutt finally took this up here. I, I missed that on camera. Yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, I mean, Mutt has actually had the, had his henchmen in that area. The the uh, north uh, northwestern expo has just been basically vacant for, oh, for a while now. He's doing this now, he's, now he's got the workshop. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it's... I mean, I'm just thinking that playing this is is quite daunting. Just the the sheer attention you have to give to your units, and then still managing to keep up with macro and aggression, counter aggression. Yeah, uh, retreating when it's necessary. What should so, be able to take down? Oh, and he has these now too. These uh, level four range. Should oh yeah. I think he can win that Killer fight Colossus. here. Uh, Killer Will Cobra, that's kind of fun. Uh, more poison coming out from Yagami, and this immune is going to be really, really nice for Mutt. Because uh, yeah. Yagami's just you know, spending money on all that poison. Uh, but he needs yeah, to make but... more of those melee. He doesn't have a lot of units. Yeah, I mean, Mutt, Mutt, is, uh, Mutt does does tend to pre there. prefer the range units, um, which is you know, it's, uh, something oh, he that... he could win that. He could win that. Yeah, he definitely could. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh... Oh, but, I mean... but he's retreating. He's retreating. He's got more units backed up, and I think he's, he just wanted to retreat to his bigger clump of units. Like he's got all his level four range back there. Yeah, now he's pushing forward. Oh, but, but I think not this with is, all of his units. That was a yeah. That was a mistake. I think I think Yagami microed that pretty well. It just uh, drew one of Mutt's units in. Yeah. Um, oh, but now the force is going to get bigger. It's going to be a much tougher egg for Mutt to crack. He is mining over here, but it looks like he is in trouble yeah. up here. All of his henchmen just got punched <laughs> to death. Was. Uh, yeah. Which is an unfortunate way to die to just to just lose to henchmen. Yeah, henchmen punching each other. Yeah, yeah. but you know, Mud is Mud looks like he's going to win this. He's got a better arc, and his his melee have a really tremendous advantage. Yeah, these um, cobras are not in a good arc at all. They're um, not, and I mean, I, I I don't think that they're they're likely to be as good. I mean, they do since they have poison, they can actually do fair amount of work against the tuna squids but the tuna squids do have regen they have better range they have yeah. 18 range damage and 42 speed i mean that's, i think that's the big challenge with the uh, with the killer whale combos i mean the killer whale combos are fast but they're not that fast yeah speed is really the the, mo the name of the game when it comes to these pure swimmers um yeah. but the longer that mutt hangs out the longer that yagami is going to keep these generators uh which is a lot of income and yeah. Mutt losing his expo. Here. Mutt is it's losing his coal expo slowly. I mean, he, for a while he had more coal than Yagami, but now it's now it's different, and Yagami's pushing in with his units. Yeah, wow. Now it's Mutt's turn to retreat. Now Yagami doesn't have his range in the fight. He's gonna. Oh no! Oh, this is very bad. Yeah. Oh, but... Yagami's melee is gonna just die. Yep. And then it's. Then Mutt is just going to be able to come bring in with his own melee, and charge attack really helps. Um, yeah. Especially camo charge attack. <laughs> I mean, Mutt is u losing his units, but uh, he's, he's held the push, and... Uh, yeah, it's, it's yeah, still he's looking... forced back. It's still looking like Mutt could keep this, but uh, he really just needs to get his economy online. Oh, no. Hello. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder, is he... Oh, he's, Mud is finally researching Henshiel, which Yagami has had since level 2, I think. <laughs> but uh, coming in with this with this, uh, this amphibious uh, raid, which is quite good, but they're only level 2, so yeah. just those few towers is going to be enough to... They might not even get a henchman out. down, yeah. That, it, that was not really... And you gotta do something with those units, I guess, so... Yeah, um, it, it, is, it is useful to, to make <laughs> Yagami punching the workshop to death. <laughs> not wasting any units. Not building a ton, so Mutt might be tight on resources, or it, he could be saving for level five. Um, yeah, but... I think I think Mutt is trying to to re to rebuild at this point because uh, he he doesn't have the expos, even though he's got the units, but he doesn't he doesn't have the income really. Yeah, he needs uh, to he needs to raid. Uh, there's not a lot of raiding going on. I mean, there's a couple of these little things, but no strong yeah. raids. And so these units are kind of are tied in a corner back here. Yeah, um, and Yagami's positioning is actually really good because if you notice, his army is 
is basically guarding the entrance to uh he doesn't really see it though so like for mutt to be able to raid he needs to bring his units to the inside of the of the ring and yeah. uh and right now he's stuck on the outside and yagami has, can build on the inside yagami can rotate through if he wants but slowly but surely mutt is is starting to to get in and now now it's going to be i mean just getting that mid generator is going to really help mutt to equalize yeah, and he just he needs to take down this chamber. There's so much that he he could do that would really secure this position up here. Yeah, um, but is 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 going to do that? He's going to get the generator. And Yagami not pushing with his units just yet. And oh no, I mean this is this is a range army, and I mean both of them are using quite a lot of range. Oh, but the hand shield has a lot, a lot more melee. Ooh. Oh, there's the heal. Oh, the the sonic boom. Yeah, that was good. Oh, that must have done it. Fair amount of damage, and it those creatures hit, don't have. Region. It only hit a couple. I think it only hit one unit. <laughs> you think? Yeah, I think I <laughs> yeah, you, saw yeah, you one might unit, be right. Yeah, maybe okay, two. I think maybe. It looked cool though. <laughs> it did look cool, but unfortunately, it was a waste of electricity. It looks like it. But I mean, any damage you can do won't get healed. So. Yeah, it's also interesting. So these, so these uh, sandbars here, expos have to be raided from the inside circle, while these ones, pure swimmers, will have to raid from the outside circle. We haven't really seen pure swimmers go on the outside circle here. I think this could be a really good opportunity. Oh no! And uh, they missed. They're not coming to this. Uh, are they actually swimming? As they're waiting yeah, around they, the coal. That's so cool. They, yeah, they're 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 treading That's water, a, but yeah, they they haven't oh. detected that coal. That is that is weird. Yeah, we, we need to submit a ticket. Yeah. Because, well, uh, I mean, he his workshop placement probably could have been a little bit better. Yeah, that's true. It's it, part of it is that. But I mean, henchmen that henchmen I think look around themselves for their next coal pile. So, oh well. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, maybe they. Yeah, this one's just a bit too far away. Uh, it shouldn't be, but I don't know what's happening. Is working. This is hopefully. Yeah, those those units. I mean, they do uh, more than twenty range damage each with pack hunters. So. They're really good. I mean, I'm surprised that they're level four actually. And yeah, not they, they do 18. I think we saw earlier. So, but oh, my, you know, he Yagami can't going hold this back. generator, can he? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, gens just die in 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 the pure swimmer meta. It's just it's yeah. almost impossible to keep them alive. Yeah, I mean, Yagami's held this one for a long time. He just puts a bunch of chambers yeah. around it, and that's where he masters <laughs> yeah, his he's units. Yeah, he just put I mean. all his units around this chamber, around the geyser. Yeah. Oh, now this looks like it could be kind of bad for Mutt. There are just a ton of units here, yeah. a lot of poison, and he doesn't. Yeah, just just way too much. Like Mutt, Mutt has good unit matchups into that into that army, but he doesn't have enough units to really make it work. So Mutt bringing in the cavalry a bit, but now they're stuck in a choke point, and Mutt's gonna lose some henchmen here. Yeah. Hey, and <laughs> Yagami bringing in his own bombardier sharks. If they have but, level uh... five. Like maybe they just don't have level fives. Oh, been stuck at level 4 I, for quite a long time. Surely they do. <laughs> they must have level 5s, but I think they're just pumping out units and, and keeping them up. And but it I looks like they're starting to run out of coal at home. Yep, that coal power yeah, just disappeared. they are mining out their labs. So this is... is pretty cool. Not... Especially when you consider that, I mean, several points. Mutt didn't have full... Didn't have his lab coal fully staffed, so <laughs> to, to fully mine out at labs. Pretty amazing. I think Mutt is getting a lot better use out of his uh, out of his oh, level two amphibious units because um, of the barrier destroy. Like it's actually done quite a, helps quite a lot when it comes to taking out the uh, expansions. Mutt needs to fight the units and not go for the chambers here. Yeah, I think he's he's not microing his range right now. Mm -mm. That's um, not going to be good, and because these mass rangers can be able to take out take out the melee in the meantime, and Mutt yeah. lost a lot of good melee units there. Yeah, he did. I mean, he he did take out a bunch of uh, artillery, which is really important. And those artillery are extremely vulnerable because they're very, very slow. But yeah, uh, pretty amazing how how uh, those four heal those four henchmen <laughs> healing is, <laughs> kept kept those artillery alive so long. But I mean, Yagami could really be a little bit more aggressive. I think he he doesn't have scouts, um, but uh, I mean, what doesn't really have much to save him right yeah. now. Yeah, oh, Mutt's out of lab coal, so is Yagami, and out of coal here, so this is actually going to be a pretty resource slow oh, game. Oh, yeah, now, now they've found it. <laughs> uh, I don't know who who's going to build that workshop. Uh, it must be Mutt. Uh, he's put down a workshop, and then 
killed up his units. So he's he's found the workshop that nobody has been using so far. But yeah. uh, now his lab's under pressure. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a tough tough for Mutt, even though he does have a resource advantage, map control advantage right now. Uh, he's just not able to crack this big force that Yagami has, especially with with all the hench heal. It's going to be really, really tough to beat this. I'm surprised Yagami hasn't upgraded these. Uh, for this yeah. Speed. Yeah, yeah that is unusual speed. for Yagami. I yeah. guess he lost his he lost his genetic amplifiers. I guess he just hasn't thought to rebuild them. Yeah. Uh, oh, here's one right here. But yeah, damage right. damage upgrade on this would go a long, long way. Um. Yeah, definitely. Twenty yeah. percent increase. I mean, I think Mutt has has his has his range upgraded and it had more. Else begin with that. Mutt only now starting research and building integrity. Yeah, I noticed That's Slim had uh, nine thousand health, and I was like, uh, Mutt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean that would have made a huge difference when it came to his generators as well. I mean, this is actually really really important to get that. That's a beautiful arc though with the the giant squid range really yeah. helping out there. Coming in from two sides, that's going to be very, very nice. Um, but yeah, Yagami, there's just so many Yagami's of these. Forces. Yeah, I mean, they, they, they have enough forces to fight out. and They're not in a good position, but they can get out there. Or will Mutt have to put on lab defense? Because, I mean, all he needs is to get a few melee units in on those uh, bombardiers, and those bombardiers are going to die. But Yeah, these Cobras are going to protect I mean, them, though. That's Yeah, Yagami's, was... Yagami's done a really good job with his bodyguarding right now. Yeah. Oh no, and he's just he's just gonna keep reinforcing. Uh no one's going for level five and it I mean it looks like this is it for Mutt. He doesn't have any units. I mean you, you yeah, you would think. I mean Mutt should have a lot more resources and he he does have a, a small mass of, of melee units if you, which he can get in because you know, Yagami doesn't have keen sense. So you know, all of these charge units they just you know, if you can cycle them and they, they have immunity, so they they match up better than other melee units yeah. would. You know, it's just not working for him though. He's 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 tried to come in, but it's just he doesn't have the masses, doesn't have the numbers. Yeah, um, he definitely has more, but he, you know, he's gonna he's gonna if Mutt manages to cycle through, I mean, he's gonna start doing some more damage. Um, and oh, more artillery come coming through. out. The hench heal really is making a big difference. I I I I think if Mutt had if Mutt builds were to build his own bombardiers, like he could he could artillery the uh, the hench heal. And that would that would maybe yes yeah, see he's starting to build artillery of his own, so I think he might he might try and just bomb bombard the uh, the head shield so that then he can move in with his with his with his units which match up pretty well. Surprise! He's not building more. Or, or oh no! One of, his, one of his beetles is 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 solo attacking. So now Yagami is probably going to be able to react. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah that's not oh, good no. for Mutt because he, he really mass. needs the full mass and yeah. Oh, oh he, he got he got a couple of those. Yeah, you know he, he did some damage, but I mean Yagami has Henshiel and yeah, this is interesting because Yagami could could definitely have just pushed in and and killed all of Mutt's remaining units there, um, but he's yeah. focused on the lab and I think that that's that's smart. It's a safe I mean, move. Yeah, Mutt is starting to move in with some units on Yagami's lab as well, but I mean, it's not much. much you can do. Yeah, I mean, this is just such a huge mass. I think this is. Game yeah, and I mean, if you Mutt. go for a base race, like Mutt needs to kill Yagami's units because he if you go for a base defense. race, Mutt turned on lab defense first, so he's going yeah. to lose that. Yeah, but he's he's starting to he's putting out enough artillery now. I mean, this is starting to get a bit dangerous. Yeah, the artillery is going to be Yagami's creatures do not have immune, so. Mm -hmm. And the Henshield won't be able to keep up with um, area of effect. No, with like the this. splash damage. Yeah. I mean, it's interesting because Mutt is not doing what I expected him to do, which is to focus on the on the henchman to to take out the healing and then use his his level fours. But he's instead focusing on pumping out these these very cheap uh, artillery, and it is working out reasonably well. I mean, Yagami's range here is thinned out. Yeah, it's quite thinned a, out lot. a lot. Uh, that was that was definitely a good move, but uh, I mean, this lab temperature is almost up at this yeah. point, and there are just more and more bombs. Yeah, and Yagami responding with the melee, which is really smart. I mean, at this point, I, I, <laughs> crazy as it seems, given the you know the map control that Yag that Mutt has, you would you would think. Yeah, uh, I mean, the coal's all gone actually. So even with yeah, the map pretty much. I guess there's really only one expo. It's not that big, and Yagami's able to repair his own lab. And, and yeah, this is going to be it. There's only be it. Four geysers on the map, so you, uh, th at this point in the game, you kind of run out of resources, and that's yeah, it. And that's wow! It. Wow! 
I mean, what a great game. I mean, <laughs> this is I fantastic. Hate uh, I'm never playing that map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, oh, that is that, that is most people's reactions when I mean, if you if you yeah, seeing a high level pure swimmer game is is an experience for sure. And it's even better when you can see the perspective. I mean, if you get a chance to see uh, Mutt stream playing against Miss Brox or playing, I mean, yeah. against Yagami, someone, someone on a pure swimmer map, the, the micro level gets pretty insane, especially in the early levels. Yeah, I mean, that was just really good. Well played by Yagami. Um, he, yeah. he was at a huge resource disadvantage, but was able to just focus on one thing, the lab, uh, and protect his units. Uh, even though his yeah. units, I thought the matchup wasn't going to be as good because he had all this poison. Um, but uh, he ended up, regardless of that, really clumping him together. Just got good attack arcs, beat Mutt's micro. And once Mutt's, the bulk of Mutt's forces were gone, um, yeah. then it was really, there's just, you know, just yeah, he was on. unstoppable. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I, was, I was really impressed as well. I mean, because, you know, like you, I think, I think if we seen in a matchup of even numbers you know you know i don't know 20 20 versus 20 like i think mutt mutt's units just roll over yagami's but mutt never had enough to to really have a, a fair fight like that and yagami handled the micro pretty well he had the the hench healing to help out and, and, uh, and i think it comes down to the geyser control yagami's geyser control was way better his map uh his absolutely. raids were, were better um in, in mid game even though he didn't have as much as the map in late game i think the, his mid game it enabled him to get a lot of those resources enabled him to get an earlier level four yeah definitely and i mean yeah the level four timing difference was definitely a, a huge swing point in the game and i mean you saw yagami have a lot more presence in the center of the map um and he, he controlled two geysers for for a while and you know i think you know it's uh it's well, just very well played i you know <laughs> first impression of the map and pulling that off i think it's quite impressive yeah, so, you know. so um, if you are at home and want to play on Sandbar, then uh, check out the Discord link in the description, and Sandbar, uh, you can download it from the Discord, otherwise I'm sure it will be included in a uh, future update to Tellurian. So, yeah. um, oh, I mean, it's, I, I think that map deserves to be in the game uh, as soon as there's an update. I, mean. I think it should be wiped off the face of the planet. So, <laughs> I disagree. Delete all of your swimmer maps. Delete <laughs> yeah. Midway. Delete Sandbar. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, it's been real. Thanks for casting with me. And, yeah. uh, it's been a pleasure. Great games to both players.